very pleasant, mm -hmm. very nice, very nice. He was always wonderful to me. He didn't pay very well, but he was, uh, he, he was, was wonderful. And you know, you were part of his team. He was he, good, good. He, he was also one of the primary directors. What was he like as a director? Perfectly wonderful. And, and he laughed at me, always thought I was very funny, and, and he was very attentive. He filmed me a lot. He used, you know, and I, I was pleased with the way I looked, you know. I hadn't thought of myself, really. I mean, I was in my 40s, and I, I hadn't thought of myself. And he, he, you look beautiful on those shows, you know, really looked pretty. I remember I asked Michael, I think it was for that one when he was leaving, and Michael worked. <clears throat> He set up the whole scene. You had nothing to do with it. He would use the stand-ins to do the blocking. And then you'd come in and the stand-in would tell you what he wanted to do. And, and that was all right most of the time. But at this particular time, it was maybe in the third year I was there, and I felt it was all wrong what he was doing. And so I said to him, Michael, I, that's not right, such and such and such. And he said, well, what do you think? I said, well. It should be this, and then that, and that, and that, and then, and then she said, and he, and down there. He thought a minute. He looked at the cinematographer. He said, how long will it take? Because they had to relight. And the guy said, an hour. So he said, oh, do it. And he redid the whole scene the way I wanted it to go. Because he knew I was right. And he accepted that. And I, would, I never had ever asked him to do that again or never had before.